Namaste. In the last three sessions on the Java Collections API, you have learned the various interfaces and classes that make up the Java Collections API. You also now know the important classes under the list interface and when to use which for your application. And in the last session, you have seen the equals and hash code method. You know when to override these and uh, why to override these and how to override the equals and hash code method which every Java class inherits from the java.lang.object class. Today, I will be wrapping up the Collections API by presenting the set and map interfaces and the popular classes that implement these two interfaces. A set is a data structure that doesn't allow duplicates and it does it by using the equals method that you override on your classes. So a set uses the equals method to make sure that two objects are not identical. A hash set implements the set interface and it uses the hash code method to store the objects as you keep adding them to the hash set. And also when you retrieve them back, the hash set uses the hash code value, the hash code method returns to retrieve them back. A linked hash set is ordered, whereas a hash set is not ordered. So it, the hash set doesn't maintain an order of the elements in which you have add them to the hash set, whereas a linked hash set does. And a tree set implements the sorted set interface and it sorts the objects as you add them to the tree set. By default, it sorts them in descending order, sorry, in ascending order. And if you want to change this, you can pass in a constructor argument to do so. Unlike the set and the list interfaces, a map works using key value pairs so it stores keys and values and the key could be a string or it could be an other object the value could be the same it could be a primitive type or it could be a strings and objects the hash map which implements the map interface uses hashing again to store the objects as you add them so it uses hashing on the keys to store the objects and then when you retrieve it back it uses the hashing hash code method, it calls the hash code method to locate the object and retrieve it back. So the better the hash code method you write, the, the better your hash map or your application that uses the hash map and uh, hash set will perform. A hash table, like a vector class under list, is a leftover map class from the earlier versions of Java. And as I said, in case of vector, similar to vector, a hash, a hash tables methods are also synchronized for thread safety. As a result, it will add performance overhead for your application. So you should not be using hash table, you should be using hash map. And if you need thread safety, you have utility methods on the java.util.collections class. A linked hash map maintains an order, whereas the hash map doesn't. And the last map class and the last class we'll be dealing with in the Collections API is the tree map, which implements the sorted map interface and it sorts like the tree set. This uh, tree map sorts the elements or objects as you add them using the keys. And uh, by default, it sorts them in ascending order. And if you want to change it, you can pass a parameter to the constructor when you create a tree map to ask it to sort in a descending order. As you can notice, if it's a linked hash set or if it's a linked list or if it's a linked hash map, it's ordered. If, it's a, if, it, if a class name starts with a tree, then it's sorted. That's how easy it is to remember these classes. To summarize, now you know why we need sets. Sets are data structures that don't allow duplicates and they use the equals method that you override on your class to make sure two objects are not identical. We have three different classes under set. The hash set uses the hash code method that you override to store and to retrieve back the objects. The better the hash code method you write, the better your application, your, uh, your code will perform. A linked hash set is ordered, whereas a hash set is not ordered, it doesn't maintain any order. A tree set is sorted by default, it's ascending 
that you can change it by passing a constructor argument for it to be descending. Under map, you have hash map which stores the key value pairs. Again, it uses the hash code method to store them and retrieve your objects back. A linked hash map maintains the order in which you add the elements whereas a hash map doesn't. And a hash table, like the vector class under list interfaces, a hash table is a legacy class. You shouldn't use it. A tree map, again, like a tree set, is a sorted map. And the easy way to remember these classes is if you need order, then you use those classes that start with link. And if you need sorting, you use classes that start with tree. In the next presentation, we'll see what we have learned in the last four sessions in action. It will be a hands-on presentation on collections. Following, I'll be doing a exception handling theory session. Until then, keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.